So iOS 14 has finally introduced widgets to iPhone and Apple has done an amazing job with the integration. But they are still limited with what they can do. So in this video, I'm going to show you the best third party widgets for iOS 14 that are free and that you can check out right now on the App Store. So the very first app we are taking a look at today is called Calorie. So it basically keeps track of your calories, your macros, your progress and all of that stuff. So they have tons of widgets. So you can basically track all your stuff and you have many of them. You have your progress bar widget, you have your calorie widget, and you can actually add your daily consumption inside the application either manually or by going in this menu section that basically has tons of things. You can add it and your progress will be showcased inside the widget. So it's pretty cool and you should check it out. Now the next app we are taking a look at today is called Good Task and it basically keeps track of all your events, your reminders and your lists. And you can either sync them from your reminders and calendars or you can make your own inside the application itself. So there are a ton of widgets in ton of sizes and there are many other applications that basically serve the very same purpose. So you have noted, you have to do ist and so on and they serve the very same purpose. They show all your events, all your calendars in these small or big widgets. So it's pretty cool and you should check all of them out and they are linked down in the description. So moving on, the next app is called Weatherline. And I have been using this app even before I updated to iOS 14. So it's one of the best weather applications on App Store. And as the name suggests, your weather is showcased through a line and there is tons of information in this application. So you can select your current location or a particular location. And you can either select between hourly widgets and widgets that cover the entire day. It's very detailed and it works pretty well. Now this next one is for all Reddit users out there. It's called Apollo. And I'm pretty sure you know about this already. So they have updated their amazing application to work with iOS 14. So now they have tons of widgets, actually the most I've seen for any application. So now you have one for subreddits, you have one for jokes, your wallpapers, your news, your popular feeds and so on. And if you use Reddit, you should check this app out. So next off we have calendars by Riedel and it's a simple calendars app, but its selection is way better than the stock calendar. So you have this monthly widget that basically shows you every single day of the month in the small widget. You have an upcoming events, you have your agenda, your task list and so on. So it's pretty amazing. And we have another app by the very same developer. So we have documents by Riedel. So this is basically a file manager, come browser, come music player, come VPN. So you can do a ton of things and the widget selection is just as good. So you have a music player widget, you have one for your recent files, your favorite files, and this action tab that basically houses a ton of features. So you have your VPN, your music player, your browser, all built in this one single widget. And the app itself is just as good. So you should definitely check this out. It's a brilliant file manager. Okay, last but not the least, we have two sleep tracking apps. We have Napbot and we have Pillow. So Nabot is better for those who have an Apple Watch and Pillow on the other hand is a simple sleep tracking app. Now both of them serve the very same purpose. So if you're looking for a sleep tracking app, they are the answer and both of them have support for widgets. Now of course there are a ton of more widgets that work with iOS 14 but I cannot cover every single one in one video. So I'm going to quickly list every single one that actually works as of now. So we have the Google app, we have food norms, we have habit minder, we have aviary, we have water minder, health view, unwind, smart gym and so on. And there are actually a ton of more that works. So yeah, it's pretty amazing. But we haven't seen any from the common apps like Facebook or Instagram. So maybe that is something that might be happening really soon. So that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys want to see how to make custom widgets, stay tuned because that is coming really soon. And also comment your favorite widget out of all of these. Until then, please like, comment and subscribe. Peace.